Alright, so another way to speed up your Mac is to use an application called Disk Utility to verify and repair your disk permissions. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to open up your spotlight in the upper right hand corner and you're going to go search Disk Utility. And you're going to click on that. It's going to bring up this application. And what you're going to want to do is click on this is my full hard drive, and then here is my Macintosh hard drive and my boot camp hard drive, which I run Windows on. These are th two partitions, first partition, second partition. You're going to click on the one that says Macintosh hard drive, and click on the tab that says First Aid. So there's Erase, Raid, Restore, and First Aid. You're going to want to click on First Aid. There's going to be a button down here, Verify Disk Permissions. You're going to want to click that, and when that finishes, you're going to want to click repair disk permissions and that should if you have any files that are not opening correctly that should fix some of those issues and it might make your Mac a little faster too now this isn't going to fix all your problems but this will speed it up a little bit I've, I've had good results with this so I'm hoping you guys will too another way to speed up your Mac is if you notice that when you're logging in that a ton of items are popping up, you've got a ton of windows coming up and applications are opening and messenger is coming up and everything's opening, what you might want to do is go into system preferences. You can find this in, in your applications folder. I just have it at the dock at the bottom here. So you're going to open up your system preferences and click users and groups under system. So users and groups. And you're going to want to click login items on the right here. And if you have a whole bunch of things popping up that you don't want to come up every time you start up your computer, you can just unselect them. Okay, so I want these two, but you can unselect whatever you don't want. So let's say I have, alright, so let's say I've got this application, the App Store is opening every time. And I don't want the App Store to open every time. So I can just go over here and click that and even just click minus and delete that from the, the options and what that'll do is it won't open on the startup so what you can either do is just un uncheck it so the option is still there or you can so you can always go back at any time and check it again or you can delete it as a whole uh, by clicking this little minus button right here alright so that is how to uh, delete startup items from your computer so that every time you log in, you don't have a large um, amount of items coming up. So you might also notice that you have some slowdown over time in Safari. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So you're going to want to open up Safari and go go into Safari, the, the tab in the upper left hand corner, and click on Preferences or don't click on preferences click reset safari so it's gonna bring up this window where there is a whole bunch of check boxes and what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you don't have any history that you really wanna save like you wanted to go back and look at something but you can go through and click what you want so normally to speed it up I like to clear my history reset the top sites um, so I'm going to show you. So this is what I like to go through and do. And this is going to remove some of the bulk of what Safari stores in your in its cache, which is going to help speed it up a little bit so it has more room to save the more relevant things. It doesn't keep any of the old stuff. So you're going to click reset. And it'll pop back up. And there we go. Now you can also go into preferences and under advanced Another way to speed up your Mac a little bit is to go into your your widgets and what you're using your dashboard over here so you can access that on Lion by scrolling all the way over to the left and there's something you can do on Leopard also, I can't remember how to do it. But you're going to go over to your dashboard. And there are a lot of these, some of these you might use, but a lot of them you don't. So when you don't use them, 
such as this airline tracker. This, this is constantly using up my RAM, which slows down my computer. So if we go to, what we want to do is down in this bottom left hand corner here, click the little plus button. And whatever you don't use, I don't use my translator, my dictionary, my stickies, I don't use my calendar, or the flight tracker. And you're just going to click the little X in the upper left hand corner of whatever widget that you don't use. And if you've got a whole ton of widgets out, this will speed up your computer a little bit because it's not constantly drawing resources from your computer because these are programs that are constantly running and this will if you've got a million of them running at the same time it'll start to slow down your computer a little bit so by only having a couple going uh, you you keep the usage of resources at a minimum so if you've only got a few up already closing them out won't make a big difference but if you're a kind of person who thought they were really cool and you had a ton of them open then you might want to erase some of them. Like, uh, but remember that you can always go and add them back after, just by clicking this little plus in the bottom left-hand corner, and then scrolling through and putting back whatever you want. Okay, so you can always put them back. Remember that.